Hey, what's up with them? Seraphina's grabbing onto Kilia so he won't go off on his own. Sis is one of those girls who ties her men down, huh? Poor bro. Hey, give me some space already. I can't walk right with you hanging on to me. You will never act on your own. If you can promise me that, and pledge your eternal love for me, then I'll let you go. I'll promise the first part. I'll never act on my own. Well, all right. But please tell me one thing in exchange. This Lise that you mentioned was a girl, right? Would you mind telling me the story of when she was killed? Rosalia wants to know too, Blip! Is that your reason for wanting revenge? Women. Killy has never talked about this, so don't ask him about it. Yeah. When the time comes, Bro will tell us all about it. But... But what? That lady might be the key to bringing out Kilia's true power. Zorokin had his weak heart, Red Magnus had his past mistake, and Usalia had her parents' death. Everyone overcame some kind of suffering to achieve their true powers. Kilia, maybe you could... I don't have any power. I only have revenge on my mind. But... I owe you guys the truth for fighting with me this whole time. What Void Dark and I, and Lise, all had in common. Goldion's daughter, Lise Rhoda, was Void's older twin sister. Lise was a unique girl. Although she was a demon, she was always straightforward, bright, and loved to meddle. She always budged her way into my business, and we used to argue a lot. At first, I was annoyed by her meddling, but her natural brightness and kindness made me open up to her before I even realized it. Even when I left Goldion's side, she followed me by herself for some reason. I figured Goldion had told her to keep tabs on me, and she was just carrying out her duty. But the truth is, she was worried about me. A guy who just ran away because he couldn't master the ultimate demon technique, final skill. If I have anything that could be called a heart, it's because she gave it to me. I survived my days in cryo blood and was known as the Tyrant Overlord, but Lise gave me a heart. That was the first time in my life that I ever felt the warmth of a family. I prayed for that time to last forever, but not long after that, Void appeared. Kilia. Return my sister to me. I refuse. You refuse? But you're just a complete stranger! No. Lise is my family. Don't be naive. You're just a stranger that father picked up off the streets on a whim. You stole the ultimate demon technique from my father, and now you're trying to steal my only sister away from me! I never liked you from the beginning! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's settle this. Are you serious, Void? Of course. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm not the man you once knew. I've attained the ultimate power that lies beyond hatred. <laughs> this is how it ends. Lise. Sis. Why, sis? Lise! Kill me. Uh, please. Forgive my brother. Uh. Hey. Lise. You're only playing, right? Open your eyes. Lise! My sister, Kilia. 
Get away! B bro I don't know what to say. I never imagined that Kilia and Void Dark had such a deep relationship. Now I understand why you hate Void Dark so much. The anger and hatred for your family being killed. I understand it, Blip. If I had more power back then, Lise wouldn't have died. But I couldn't do anything. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Sir Kilia.
leave it to me. You! You!
Are you ready? Let's go! Let's go! She's in a bad mood. She's been acting like that ever since Killia mentioned that Lise girl's name flip. Uh, hey, old man Magnus, do something! Right, leave it to me. I've known her for a long time. Yo, Sarah, you don't look all that happy. A girl's jealousy is unbecoming. Tell me, who is jealous of whom? Uh? Hey, Usalia, only Bro can stop her. Go get him. By the way, where is Kilia? Over there, Plip. He's eating without any concern in the world. He's eating again? Not to mention the portions. Is Bro's stomach a black hole? How can all that food fit in his skinny body? He said that he's been burning a lot of calories lately, but that's still a ridiculous amount, Plit. All this eating is pointless. Your body, which has been constantly abused, is no better than a bag with a hole in it. It doesn't matter how much you eat. It's impossible to hold me back. <laughs> You're pretty stubborn. But the more obstinate you are, the more you're putting those around you in danger. Who will your weak heart kill next? <laughs> I can't wait to see.
Let's fix you up. Where would you like to go, dude?